is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am bull pony i typically do new car reviews on youtube however dealerships are shut down right now so i'm making other videos in the meantime today we are going to go over the top five new cars every high schooler should have or the top five best options really in my personal opinion what i would get at least for my first car if i were still in high school right now and so when i was looking around for my first car back in the day i wanted something fun but yet still inexpensive something obtainable so essentially what this list is going to be is cars under $25,000. That is really a budget I think is obtainable for any high school kid. That is kind of what my budget was back then. As long as you have a part-time job and you're going to school, you're going to be able to afford all these cars on this list. And so the way I'm going to do this is I am going to give you my top five in that particular order as well, starting with number five, going to number one, which will be my very first pick if I were to buy a new car in high school right now. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And let's start with number five on the list. And so my number five pick is going to be the Mazda 3 hatchback and I choose the hatchback over the sedan because I think it looks a heck of a lot better in my personal opinion at least but hatchback front wheel drive configuration starts at $23,700 however cool thing about the Mazda 3 is they now offer all-wheel drive in their compact car which is pretty darn cool especially if school doesn't get canceled and you got to drive to school in the snow or something like that if you wanted to go with that all-wheel drive configuration that is going to start at $25,100 so yeah, it's a hundred bucks over the price range. Just negotiate it down. You guys know how to do it. Powering the Little Beast is a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder, 186 horsepower, 186 pound feet of torque, producing a zero to 60 time coming in at seven seconds flat and MPG numbers coming in at 24 in the city. 32 on the highway. And so the cool thing about the Mazda 3 though is you can get it in both a manual transmission or an automatic, whichever you prefer there. Also it's going to come standard with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, and I'm sure you do, simply hook it up to the Mazda 3 via USB cable and you can display Pandora up there like in Dislike Your Pandora songs. Also free navigation up on that tech display that they have in the Mazda 3 as well. So that's definitely a huge plus. It's something I would not go without if I were to purchase a first car. Also another plus the Mazda 3 though. Consumer reports to give it above average reliability, which is a huge plus. But perhaps the very best part and really what makes any Mazda fun is the steering feel. If you haven't experienced this, you're definitely going to want to. The steering feel when it comes to Mazda really is better than any other manufacturer in its class, I should say at least. It is a much more of a weightier steering feel. There's no dead spots in this steering. It instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. And it's definitely something that you're going to enjoy driving, especially on the back road. And so if you did end up going with the this one. If you needed to do any convincing with your parents, just tell them it is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation by IIHS, meaning it is a super safe vehicle. So that's more than likely what they're going to be concerned about the most. And at the same time, it's going to be fun and enjoyable for you to drive as well. So that's why that one, the Mazda 3 Hatchback, is my number five pick on the list. Then for my number four pick, one I just recently driven and reviewed this year, being the new 2020 Nissan Sentra SR. And the reason why I like this one, it has been completely redesigned for 2020 and it looks absolutely amazing. In my opinion, I wouldn't even consider the Nissan Sentra before 2020, it didn't look good. But for 2020, it looks amazing. It's wider, it's lower, it has a much more aggressive stance. It looks like a baby Maxima, essentially. It looks absolutely amazing. But anyways, I know styling is subjective and that's just my personal opinion. But what makes the Sentra even better though is the pricing. I do believe it's probably the most inexpensive car on my list here. Pricing starts at $19,090. Top trim level for the SR is $21,430. That is an amazing price, especially for it being the top trim level of the Sentra. That's pretty cool. The trade-off for this one, if there is a trade-off at all, is going to be the power plant. Powering the Nissan Sentra is a two liter direct injected inline four cylinder engine, putting out 149 horsepower, 146 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 comes in at eight seconds flat, according to Motor Trend. It's not the worst acceleration I've ever tested, but it's certainly not the best either. And it is the slowest car on my particular list here. But then again, on the flip side, in my personal opinion, I think the styling kind of makes up for it. Again, the Sentry is going to give you Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, at least if you go with the SV or SR trim levels, that bottom S trim level will not give it to you. MPGs come in at probably the very best on my list, 29 city, 39 on the highway. If you went with that top trim level for $21,000, the SR, you will get LED headlights as well 
well. Super bright illumination at night. That's a big plus there. But perhaps the thing that impressed me the very most about the Nissan Sentra this year for the 2020 model year wasn't just the styling, but the steering feel. I remember it being so numb in the past. Even with other 2020 Nissans in the lineup right now, I tested the Rogue this year, that is extremely loosey-goosey when it comes to the steering feel. There's no emotion with that steering whatsoever, but with the Sentra there is. They changed it. It almost feels as good as the Mazda. Not quite as good, but it almost feels as good as the Mazda. So definitely a wonderful steering feel in the Nissan Sentra. And that's part of the reason I put it on this list. It makes it so much more enjoyable to drive, especially on the back roads, more of a direct response to the steering. So I do absolutely love that. And again, it's one of the best looking cars, best looking compact cars out there right now, in my personal opinion. So that is why I put the Nissan Sentra at number four on my list. Let's make our way to number three. I'd say number three on my list is going to be substantially quicker than the Sentra, being the new Hyundai Veloster Turbo. Now let me just start by saying there's several different trims for the Veloster. There's your base engine, then there's the end performance division, which is going to be out of our budget. But if you can go that much, you might want to. But the turbocharged engine is going to come in an R spec, a regular turbo, or an ultimate trim level. And this one is going to put out 201 horsepower, 195 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 time is actually going to come in at six seconds flat according to car and driver that is pretty ridiculously quick for a compact car and so far that is actually the fastest car on my list although it will get faster just wait and so if you're one of those people though worried about the reliability thinking oh it's a turbocharged engine that means it's going to break right listen this is a hyundai which means you get a 10 year 100 000 mile powertrain warranty that covers things like the drivetrain like the transmission like the engine so if it were to break it is fixed for free so you get a fun car that is going to be warranted for 10 years that is wonderful and in addition to that when you buy any hyundai actually you get three years now of complimentary maintenance that just started in february of 2020 so you get three years of free oil changes and tire rotations and with this being your first car free is always a good thing another thing i like about the Vloster and really hyundai they do make some really cool exhaust sounds. For instance, the turbocharged Vloster here, very nice exhaust sound. Also, the Vloster N, the crackle on that one is absolutely amazing, but again, that's out of our price range. It's like 30,000, but still though, a very nice exhaust note to this one. Not only that, if you were to go with the R-Spec trim level, you actually get a B&M Racing short throw shifter as well so that's going to make it much more enjoyable to row through your own gears and by the way i should mention you can get a six speed manual transmission with this one or a seven speed dct seven speed dual clutch so either way amazing transmission options the seven speed is going to shift lightning quick as well again you get android auto and apple carplay that comes standard for all of those trim levels on this one and one of the cool things about the Vloster is you get three doors i'm not talking about driver passenger and a hatchback I'm talking about there is one door on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. That is one of the quirkiest things. And I don't believe any other car that I know of, any other new car right now, does that. And I absolutely love that. So when your friends go to get in your car, you're like, nah, -uh, you can't get in on the driver's side, go around to the passenger side. <laughs> I think this is so freaking cool. It's such a unique car. It's very fun to drive. And it is an IIHS top safety pick as well. So you got that to tell your parents. So that is why the Hyundai Vloster Turbo comes in at number three on my list. All right, so now we're really getting to the good ones, you guys. Number two on my list is the new 2020 Honda Civic Si. This is a legendary car. It's an instant legend the second you buy it, essentially. And I'm not just saying that the resale value is actually going to back up that legendary status, believe it or not. Powering the Civic Si, there was a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, 205 horsepower, 192 pound feet of torque. So kind of similar to the Veloster Turbo, zero to 66 point eight seconds according to motor trend for this one though six speed manual transmission only and let me tell you guys it is a wonderful six speed manual transmission probably one of the best out there right now to be quite honest and honda's really any honda manual transmission is going to be one that is going to be very easy to learn how to drive manual on as well if this is going to be your first manual so definitely don't worry about that android auto and apple carplay also are going to come standard on the civic si that's a huge plus also a great steering field of this one again a 
heavier weighted steering feel so it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go in addition to that it's a kind of larger sedan on the list here good bit of rear legroom for any passengers and a good bit of cargo space actually as well so a very practical fun car on the list here not to mention perhaps the best braking on my list with a six to zero stopping distance of only 106 feet that's actually quite amazing if you wanted to do a little comparison with the blaster turbo that actually comes in at 110 feet civic si also comes with race inspired bucket seats they're very comfortable i can attest to that aluminum foot pedals are also a plus and it's one of those cars where i distinctly remember telling myself at the end of the drive that I honestly didn't really want to give it back because it was that much fun to drive. And that's coming from a guy that drives a Mustang GT with 460 horsepower. You can have a heck of a lot of fun in a Civic Si, let me tell you. And it is extremely fun to drive with that six speed manual because it is so easy to find the grab points. It's so easy to row through your own gears in that particular car at least. Not all manuals I could say that with, but that one is absolutely amazing and a blast to drive. Tons of emotion, tons of driving emotion when it comes to the Civic. SI there. And for your parents' sake, it's an IIHS top safety pick once again. And so heading to my number one pick on the list being the Ford Mustang EcoBoost. No, there's no bias whatsoever. Who cares that I'm driving a Ford Mustang right now? Literally, this is the best pick when it comes to fun as far as a first car goes. Let me tell you why. And so pricing for the Ford Mustang EcoBoost, MSRP comes in at $26,670 which is over my budget, which is over the $25,000 budget that I set at the beginning of this video. However, if you were to go to autotrader.com, you will see that no Ford Mustang EcoBoost actually sells for that MSRP price. Typically, you can find them at five to $6,000 off, which puts them at the range for around $23,000 really. Or you can go $24,000, $25,000, adding a ton of really fun options as well. And so what I'm saying essentially is this is definitely one that is in the budget before anybody says anything. And so powering the Mustang EcoBoost is going to be a 2.3 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, 310 horsepower, power 350 pound feet of torque that's a ton of power sent to the rear wheels through a six speed manual or a 10 speed automatic 10 speed automatic is going to be a little more money if you wanted to tackle on that option zero to 60 time get ready 5.3 seconds for under $25,000 in a new car. That's wonderful. MPG numbers even better. You would think a car with that much power wouldn't have that best MPG numbers, but it's a turbocharged engine, so that certainly helps out with that. But so for the Mustang EcoBoost, miles per gallon come in at 21 in the city, 32 on the highway. That's a wonderful thing right there. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay is going to be another one of those options I was telling you about that's actually a $2,000 option, so still under the $25,000 budget since there's so heavily discounted at this point. Again, great braking performance, just like the Honda Civic Si. It's a stopping distance of 106 feet from 60. That's pretty amazing. And quite honestly, it has the very strongest following out there. It has the strongest following on Instagram for number one. Instagram has shown this when it comes to cars at least. Ford Mustang has been hashtagged and looked up more than any other car out there. Also the number one selling sports car in the world. It's taken that award as well. So it is definitely a very popular car and for good reason it's a ton of bang for your buck essentially so it really is a ton of fun and obviously the very best pick if I were buying my first car for under $25,000 I would most definitely go with the Ford Mustang EcoBoost not only for all the reasons I just gave you but in addition to that there are endless modifications out there for the Ford Mustang if you just look at cjponyparts.com you'll see that and I'm not just talking about the Mustang GT the EcoBoost has just as many modifications available for it whether it be lowering springs wheels, exhaust, whatever, they're out there if you wanted to really make the Mustang your own. And again, like I was saying with the strong following, I just had somebody give me a thumbs up when I passed them. It really is, people acknowledge you when you're driving the Mustang, especially other Mustang owners. There's this whole thing. You guys heard of the Jeep wave? There's a Mustang wave. Everybody that owns a Mustang, for the most part, I would say like, I don't know, 85% of them, that's just a random number, but 85% of people will wave at you if you're driving a Ford Mustang and they're driving a Ford Mustang. So it's a pretty cool thing there too. But ultimately, if you've already purchased your first car, let me know what your first car was in the comment section below. That'll be the question of the day here. If anybody was curious about mine, my first car actually was the Acura RSX. Absolutely fun car to drive. I wish Acura brought that back. Maybe in a Honda version, that would be cool. But nonetheless, let me know what your first car was in the comment section below. That's 
that's about it for this one. Do appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, can't wait till we jump back into doing them again. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Your eye like a bigger pizza pie that's your morning. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's morning.